The dynamic nature of the expressive arts can engage and motivate our learners and so encourage them to develop their creative, artistic and performance skills to the full. Whilst developing this area of learning and experience, it has been important to remember that we must allow space for all our learners to be creative and to make the offer fully inclusive. There are many links to all the areas of learning experience from expressive arts, but in particular we have noticed the very firm connections with health and well-being. We must ensure that the expressive arts skills are recognised as transferable and that they have a direct link to careers and lifelong learning. But why did we need to change expressive arts education in the first place? I think it's important for us to remember that the arts could have been perceived as dying in education, but actually in Wales we're embracing it. And I think that's so vital and important and exciting for me as a teacher. An arts rich education is core to the whole school experience of a learner. All learners surely need to have access to rich contexts in which they have time to explore and to respond and to create. Learners need to have access to all the expressive arts disciplines and Wales has recognised that. So expressive arts, it encompasses dance, drama, film and digital media, music and visual arts but they are linked by a common creative process and transferable skills. All disciplines will be offered and included to all learners, and that is why it is different. The learning in expressive art is linked through a creative process, enabling a deeper understanding of individual disciplines. But the progression is not linear, and there is now a focus on rich, authentic context the learning running from the ages of 3 to 16. The thing that I have found most important when working in, with this new curriculum in school is listening to the pupils and also the staff. And so we've encouraged collaboration among the staff in school to construct a curriculum model suited to our individual school and our setting. And you can do the same. In a recent learner voice exercise, I asked the pupil, what is a curriculum? And they said, making memories for life. And I think I've remembered that when we've been making things in school happen. So collaboration across the area of learning experience and across other areas of learning experience is vital to make this a success. Be flexible. There are a variety of delivery approaches in expressive arts, interdisciplinary, integrated, blended curriculum, and open-ended learning. You are encouraged to offer a variety of delivery approaches when offering this area of learning experience. So what matters in expressive arts? Exploration through and of the expressive arts deepens our artistic knowledge and contributes to our understanding of identity, culture, and society. Responding and reflecting both as an artist and an audience, is a fundamental part of learning through and of the expressive arts. And creating work, that combines knowledge and skills. We're not saying that knowledge and skills is not important, but we must use all the senses, inspiration and imagination. They are three interlocking strands and they're used in a way that link the creative process and they're common in all disciplines. The one thing to remember, I believe, is that the four purposes have been a game changer for us. We must remember that, but they don't just apply to the learner, they apply to the teacher. So please be brave, be ambitious teachers, but be supportive of each other, collaborate, and find ways of working together that suit you, your school, and your setting.